WordPress news. Today I'm going to give you all some updates of what's happening in the WordPress community, some theme updates, some new products, and also WordPress drama. Yes, yes, we all need WordPress drama. I mean, it gets boring always talking about plugins and stuff. We need the drama. We need it. You know, we need it. So Tail gave it to you. But first thing first is WordCamp Asia is happening in just a few months. I will personally be there. And uh, if you want to come by and say hi to me, if you have tickets, I'll be there. So you can vent to me about your clients being a pain in the ass, or you can vent to me about, you know, you have crazy customers. <laughs> you know, I've been there guys, trust me. I've been there. I know how it is. I know exactly how it is. And I'm really glad they pushed WordPress Asia uh, I'm sorry, WordCamp in Asia, because they've always had it in the United States, and it's really hard to get a visa to the United States. It's really, really tough, and it's too expensive. I mean, but most of these guys are rich anyways. You know, these de these developers are all rich, but it's still, you know, very inconvenient. It costs a lot of money, and the flight is hell. I mean, guys, I I, I know the flight to, you know, Asia to, to U.S. It's it's like 24 hours or something like that. It's it's like a twilight zone. It's terrible, you know? So I feel the pain, but I will be there. So if you are attending, so you make sure to say hi to me, all right? Next is PHP 7.4 is out and companies like Kinsa and Cycron are offering it. Now, personally, if you've seen the option to update, do not update it yet because wait till WordPress says it's okay, you know, and then do it. Because if you update your website and then you get a bunch of problems and then your clients call you and... That's just, you don't want to go there. You don't want to go there. So uh, don't update just yet. And also you might want to reach out to like wordpress.org and say, hey, is it safe to update? I don't want my stuff to crash. And also also really make sure to talk to your plugin and theme companies because I don't think they're compatible just yet. But it, it's just nice to know that it's out. And what's changed is uh, feature update. I'm sorry, uh, what is it? Um, performance so it's it's faster they always say it's faster every year i don't see the difference but that's just my personal opinion uh next is the owner of yoast left no i'm just kidding no they actually released a really bad black friday advertisement that looks something like this and i was a victim of it too they actually had this ad in the back end and it looked like it's like a porn scam ad and i just don't understand why they had this ad so it was one of those those long banners and it was waving and when you put your mouse over it, it has that little like trigger. So I've seen those before on like scammy websites. And when I saw this, I'm like, oh my God, I got malware. Like, no, but it wasn't. It was an actual ad they ran and it was just terrible. But the owner came out and apologized and said, guys, we messed up. We're really sorry about this. And it looks like they got some uh, bad publicity. They got some, <laughs> they got some vote downs on their, uh, their uh, reviews on wordpress.org but uh, you know it was just something they messed up on next is the bridge theme is now introducing the elementor page builder onto their theme now they only have around like 20 demos or something like that for elementor so if you're using elementor and you want to kind of mess around with with the, the bridge theme be sure to check it out so they have uh 20 demos now they say 420 but these are for wp bakery the WP Bakery Builder, which don't use, use Elementor, it's much better. It don't, don't, just don't go there. I, I've been down that path. I've tried to make websites with WP Bakery. It's just like, it's the twilight zone of page builders. But um, yeah, be sure to check it out. It's uh, $59. They reached out to me and they said, hey, can you make a video on our theme? And I said, maybe, 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 you know? So I will probably be having a future video on Bridge, just showing their features and things that you might wanna check out if you're looking for something. Next is Rank Math. And Rank Math has been getting popularity over this year. And they just announced they're releasing their pro version in 2020, early 2020. Now I hate when these companies offer free everything. And I see other affiliates out there saying, oh, it's free, yeah, free, free, free. And it's like, guys, it kills the market for developers. And from a consumer standpoint, like from the cons the customer point of view, it's great. It's like, hey, free stuff, yeah, yeah, you know? But uh, for for the developers, it sucks because now you have Yoast and on one SEO competing with a free product that's better than theirs. So it's very tough for those companies to stay in business and keep the lights on. Now this company takes like all of the plugins from Yoast and puts it on one and it's just a very powerful SEO plugin. I do have a video on this plugin as well. So if you wanna go and check it out, uh, it's worth checking out, but I don't know what their pro version is gonna offer, but I know they will be rolling out a pro version sometime early 2020. Now, this company also was accused 
accused of buying fake reviews on WordPress.org. That is so sad. They've also said that, or other companies said that they sent them death threats to other companies when they tried to talk bad about them, etc. So it's a very interesting article, but you know what, guys? I can't really say this is true. It's just on some blog, and uh, they just basically said that these people were not to be trusted. But they do have a very interesting screenshot. So you can see here how this has around 529 positive reviews, and it looks like WordPress.org stepped in and deleted like 200 of them or something like that. So it's very interesting to see that um, the company was accused of buying fake reviews, and people out there were not happy about it. So there's just something to you know to, to note. They said that they were sending death threats, and they even have a voicemail. Ooh, a voicemail. That is interesting. It looks like here in the article they were saying that they were going to contact USA to 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 do something. I I, I don't know why. I mean, the, the police in USA don't care about what's going on in India, guys. So they're not gonna do anything about it. But anyways, it was just a very interesting article. So if you want to read about it, go ahead, push it out. You know, I'll put it in the I'll put it in the description. You go ahead and check it out. Next is the Elementor page builder is introducing their new color scheme. So I have a new color picker. You know, I've seen other channels talk about the betas for elementor and i i don't know why i mean the betas for elementor like i've seen videos where they make a video on it and it's like do you really need to make a video one video on the color picker of a beta that's coming out in like a month like i don't know i, I just feel like it's 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 a little strange that people announce these features so early before they're pushed out but whatever it's their business uh, but anyways elementor is pushing out this feature and you know I just feel that Elementor, sh they they should go back to their builder and fix the UX and not worry about the features. I mean, this company has enough features as is. I mean, any other feature that comes out, I think is just a relevance. And if your client is asking for something like um, a job, a piece of JavaScript that you know changes your website, you don't want those clients. You don't want those clients. For those of you who don't know what JavaScript is, it's basically when your website has animation or something like that. Uh, that's what it is. It's like animation, and it causes like you know different um, different things to move around your website. The problem is JavaScript can drastically slow down your website, and using raw HTML code is always better than JavaScript, but or CSS. But then again, you know people out there love that stuff, so I guess people like uh, or companies like Elementor are kind of a piece to it. But um, yeah, so be sure to check it out. It's something you know I thought was just okay, cool. They introduced this feature. Uh, WP Governance, uh, they've introduced nothing, you know? So I want to talk about this because I feel that the WordPress community is so unregulated, you know? I just feel that when these theme companies and plugin companies, um, you know, push out products, you know, WordPress.org does absolutely nothing about it. In fact, Envato Elements is a plugin that offers tons of Elementor templates. I love the plugin, it's great, but the problem is they have around 300 affiliate links in their plugin, and that goes against the guidelines of WordPress.org. So my question is, why is WordPress.org not doing anything about companies putting in affiliate links, putting in those Facebook groups? And, you know, I'm sure you guys have seen plugins where they hack your backend, where like if you download a plugin, it'll say like, oh, this is recommended or you have to do this. And that also goes against WordPress.org's policies, but WordPress.org does nothing about it. So I just feel that's very frustrating from a consumer standpoint. And I think the thing they should be focused on most on WordPress.org is accessibility policy. And what I don't like about this at all is that it's at the bottom of the list. I mean, look at this. Accessibility policy is at the bottom. That is the most important thing on this whole list. I mean, diversity and exclusion policy. I mean, come on, guys. That That's a USA thing. The rest of the world doesn't care about that, you know. Code of ethics. I mean code of ethics i mean what what's like we don't care about ethics we're here to find out what's the problem how can we fix it how can we improve wordpress we don't care about the code of ethics i just i'm on a self rant here you know but i just feel that these companies are getting sued out there you know domino's pizza got sued by some blind man because their website wasn't accessible for him and a lot of other web designers are getting sued by their customers for their websites not being accessible or I guess, what, what's the word for it? Uh, accessibility friendly or something like that. And I feel that uh, accessibility policy should not be on the bottom of this list. I think diversity and exclusion, code of ethics should be way down to the bottom because it's just something that isn't really 
bothering or hurting people, but accessibility is hurting people. So I think that should be on top of the list. Community code of conduct. You know, I, 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 I don't know what to say. I think they should just go public and just have a CEO and do all that stuff because um, WP governance, I think, is just WordPress's defense about not going public, primarily because probably a lot of management will change. People will get kicked out. People will get voted in, etc. But that's just my personal opinion on it. I think that uh, WordPress.org is just not doing enough to monitor and regulate their markets. And this governance program is nothing more than a feedback community. That's the word for it. It's no longer called WP governance. It's a feedback community because they say, oh, you'll get involved and then this, and then we say things and nothing happens. It's like, okay, so why am I here? Anyways, you know, so anyways, that's just my thing. Next is the gem theme. Now there's been some drama and uh, this happened about a year ago, but I decided to talk about it because there was a recent case with someone having the same complaints. Now, this happened to my friend. This is someone I actually know, so this is good. So what happened was that uh, one of my buddies, he's a web designer, and he actually watched one of my videos and he's learned it, but um, he installed the gem theme on around 20 domains or something like that. And uh, the gem theme came out and said that, uh, you know, you, you, you need to purchase a license for each domain. So what they said was, you, here we go, please note, you, always need to purchase one license per one live website. Please be so kind to purchase this additional licenses and let us know. Otherwise, otherwise we will be forced to take legal steps. Oof, that is a that is a legal threat. Now, I I, I have a law background, so I can say right there that is that's a, you know, that's a, that's a that's a legal threat. They're kind of saying, you know, we're going to we're going to uh, do something here. But the problem is this country, this, this company, I don't think is located in the United States. And uh, I mean, when they say, please be so kind to purchase, Americans don't talk like that. So I don't know, you know, but uh, that's very interesting. Now, another interesting thing that comes into play here is Envato split licensing, because personally, I don't think it has any merit or any grounds to have any defense because there is no such thing as a split license. Now, maybe in Australia, where Envato is from, the laws are different. But if they're talking to Americans about, uh, they're trying to sue someone for using an open source product. An open source product. Let me say that again. They're trying to sue someone for using an open source product. Like, like what? Now, I think what they should say instead of this licensing thing is they should just say that these are the terms and conditions upon purchasing something. That might be a little bit more more enforceable, I guess you can say. But um, if you want to use these domain, these on various domains, I don't think they have any really grounds to do anything at all. And that's just my personal opinion because a lot of these products are pure GPL. So what that means is that some of these themes say they're 100% GPL. And that's very strange because their website indicates it that they are a split license. Like right here, this item is licensed 100% GPL. So... It doesn't really make sense because if you want to take this product and put it on 50 domains, legally you're allowed to. And Envato can do nothing because it's a GPL product. But they're saying, well, you know, we need to uh, find out how many domains are on and we need to get the money from you. I mean, how are you going to get the money from me, dude? Really? Like, you know, but that's a very interesting topic. And Matt Moldwick actually came out and said there is no such thing as a split license. But then again, Envato Market is from Australia and the laws are much different out there than the United States. So... Maybe they want to consult, uh, consult an attorney. You guys need one, Envato? I, I got connections, so just let me know. I have a really good one. Uh, she's located in uh, Los Angeles. She's a very good attorney. So if you got, if you guys want legal advice, you know I'll, I can hook you guys up. But uh, I think the, the the thing you guys got going now is just it's just not working out. Uh, anyways, uh, a new company, uh, Divi Next, is out now. Divi Next is a newer company, and it turns out that the owner right here was backstabbed by one of his former colleagues. Now I'm not going to mention any names, but this comp this guy right here was um, he's a great. He's a great developer. In fact, I've worked with him for many years and um, they have a lot of Divi products, but uh, this guy was kicked out of his company. They took all his products and now he's forced to start over from scratch. So sad, you know, so sad, but you know, I helped him out, you know, when he needed help and I said, hey man, you know, you, you want to start a company up, you know, I'll help you out. I am not affiliated with this website anyway. I have no ownership or nothing like that, but um, they offer some really cool stuff. But um, let me give you an example really quick. So if you're using Divi, uh, they have like footer layouts, 4-4 layouts, button layouts, etc. 
So looking at all of these footer layouts are really, really nice. They look really cool and you can just get an example. Now this guy right here, I gotta be honest, he's a very good designer. And in fact, that's why I hired him for one of my uh, hosting companies. Um, he actually, or my hosting templates, I should say, he actually has some really nice designs and um, it really just like, you know, stands out to me. And this guy's been through a lot, but if you guys wanna support this guy, go ahead and check out his websites. Um, one thing I will will say here, I mean, the single website or unlimited, I mean, I'll, I'll talk to him about that. I'll, 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 I'll educate him because, I mean, if they're using layouts, a single website and unlimited, I don't know how that would work because they're layouts. So what would be the difference if you use a single website? But anyway, <laughs> he's all, I'll talk to him about that and we'll sort that out. But he has a lot of really cool Divi products and they're very high quality stuff. They're not like crap. They're not like those cheesy layouts. They're not, they're not the elegant marketplace layouts, which, oh, oh my God, those ones are bad. Well, well maybe I'll, I'll go to their website in a bit. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of feeling, kind of feeling good today, you know, but uh, they have a really nice layout. So be sure to check out DiviNext.com. They were also featured on elegantnames.com for their Black Friday. So they are known for having some really good quality stuff. Next is WP Layouts. And they are introducing a WP layout, I guess, plugin where you can import a lot of layouts. It looks like they're going to use their layouts for Divi and also Elementor and Beaver Builder, which is very interesting. So I believe it's a plugin, and the plugin you can actually store your layouts, and they actually put layouts in there as well. I'll give you give you an example right here, something like this right here. So you can see here how there's a lot of different layouts. And that um, you know you can you know just look for yourself. So I think right now it's in beta. So if you want to go ahead and test it and check it out, uh, you're more than welcome to. If you guys are watching this over there at Divi Space or WP Louds, uh, fix your audio, man. This guy has a huge echo. You know, and audio is the hardest thing to do <laughs> in video. So I know how it is. I know how it is. Uh, so that's just uh, something that's coming out. Let's go look at Elegant Marketplace. You know, let's go look at Elegant Marketplace. It's been it's been a while. You know. Let's go ahead and take a look at their layouts, you know. Elegant Marketplace, they actually introduced a new plugin. Uh, it's called WP Feedback. And um, the only thing I don't like about it is that there's no lifetime plan. Personally, I think every company out there should offer a lifetime plan for their products because we those companies can't guarantee support. So it's like you're paying into a policy that you possibly couldn't get ever, you know. So I think that is something that companies should all offer. Um, but again, uh, this website, uh, it's very questionable. You guys might uh, come across it a few times and um, this isn't really, uh, this isn't really, um, I guess you wanna say an update, but just looking at some of their layouts right here, I mean, what is that? Let's, let's take a look at the cake shop. Let's look at this one right here. Ugh. Ugh. I mean, they're using just like default Divi modules. Read our blog. It's not even aligned in the center. Ugh. What do you guys rate this website? Let me know in the comments below what you guys rate this website. You know, no, no disrespect to the the designer. You know, it, 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 obviously the, the guy is an amateur, but it's not his fault. But oh, that is oh a seven out of ten cringe. Seven out of ten. <laughs> you know. But anyways, um, that was my video. So let me know what you guys think about all these updates. Do you guys have problems with anything or something that you want to talk about? or if there's anything related to updates or experiences that you have with any of these plugins or themes, let me know in the comments below. Until then, I will see you guys in the next video, and hopefully I'll see you all at the WordCamp Asia 2020. All right, take care.